naturally, Frell will have a beat in his head. He'll put it down. He'll have a sequence of raw idea. He may have some drums laid down. Um, the drums may sound shitty as hell. They may sound crummy. But it'll be a good groove. And um, he'll have the hook already in his head and how it should go. He'll even probably have the video. He'll have as much as he can laid down. Beat-wise, rhythmically, keys, whatever. And then I'll hear it and I'll try to lace it. I'm like a, to me, I consider myself like a band. You know what I mean? Like, you got a song, let me be your band. I'll fill it in what I can, make it sound good. Do what I can. Make sure it's a dope song. Sometimes the song is already done. Maybe it may be just a beat. It probably doesn't need anything, so I actually might take stuff out. You know what I mean? Or add effects, just make it sound interesting. You know what I mean? Because music, when you listen to music, is, you gotta take it into a zone. Every sound is associated with a, with a feeling you get. If a snare is banging, it's gonna hit you, you know, and you're just gonna make you make your neck snap. You feel that snare snap, it's gonna make your neck snap. Gah! Boom! You hear that kick, it's gonna hit you in the back. Ba boom! You hear that snare, it hits you in the in the in the back of your neck. So it's like when you hear that kick and snare, it just gets you in that groove. But if it's weak, you ain't gonna feel that way, you know what I mean? So you gotta have that Sometimes it sometimes it doesn't have to sound like that. Sometimes it's just about groove and you know having the vocalist take you on a ride. And um, I guess I just try to distinguish what's gonna take you on that ride. What's gonna take you, what sound is gonna take you on that ride? Is it the bass line? Is it the keys? Is it the vocalist? Or is it everything in conjunction with each other? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's the first time I've done that? Is that everybody walks around doing that crap? See, I'm actually not from Virginia. Yeah, I'm Pharrell's driver. I take care of his vehicles. This is the Ultra Sled, the excursion. So this is the Beat Shack, equipped with its own Atari set, circa 1982. We've got all the originals, combat that came with it. Pit Paul, Daunt and Dig Dug, Daunt and Clown. Remember this? Oh my god, I remember this. For the kids, they don't know what the hell this shit is. But this is a controller that makes it go back and forth for your high tech tennis games and breakout. We got the old school TV set up. What do you do back in the day when a TV don't work? You put one on that works on top of the one that's broke. You know? Oh, thanks. This is the jailhouse room. <clears throat> when you try to get buff, on a free time. I feel like Lou Ferrigno, Incredible Hulk. Um, this is what we have for inspiration. This is what Drew put in this in this room for inspiration. I hooked these up to a, a battery-operated boombox, and it worked just fine. We were at the recreation center and it blew the whole place away. The power went out, so we hooked it up to the battery operated boombox. Where people hardly ever get to see all the gear, the DJ setup. Some of my spare time when I'm bored, you know, digging that record crazy, do tricks. All the gear, the Pro Tools, the whole nine, some old school. See this big piece of gear? about all this shit just to make some wacky sounds? You plug one, it goes... I'm a man, I'm a man. <laughs> Berlin. 
I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm a sex child. I'm a one-night stand and I'm a bitch.